Welcome to MB Trading's online tutorial series. This presentation covers features related to stock trading with MB Trading. Before we get started, please take a few minutes to read through our legal disclosures on this slide. This presentation covers the initial setup of the Desktop Pro platform for trading stocks. The following training will teach you how to set up your preferences and to customize your MB Trading Desktop Pro software for trading stocks. First, we will start out with the watch list. The watch list is where you can see your various symbols and the information related to those equities. You can change the view of how it looks and the colors and font sizes by right clicking, scrolling down, and selecting preferences. This allows you to change various colors associated with your stripes, your grid background, grid text, and so on and so forth. If you click on the font option, you can change your font sizes styles, as well as choose specific fonts. This works similar to a font change on Microsoft Word or Excel. Once you've made any changes, you simply click on Finish and it will change. You also have the ability to confirm watch list removals as well as some other options based on your trading preferences. The watch list also contains a grouping of columns at the top that give you information about your specific equity. For example, if we look at the Microsoft symbol, we can see the change, the last trade, the bid, ask, and so on. We can customize this by right-clicking, selecting Add Remove Columns. This then breaks, brings down a column drop where we can remove different columns and add new ones in. For example, if we did not want to see the open price, we can simply click on that drag it over and drop it and it will be removed. If we wanted to see the bid size, we simply left click on it, drag it over and drop it into the columns. You have a plethora of different columns that you can populate to give you as much information as possible about your equity that you're watching. You also have the ability to trade off of the watch list. If you right click and sel select show order entry, the order entry panel will populate. You also can right click and choose to save different watch lists, open new watch lists, add symbols, access our MBT research, and get a Yahoo snapshot of the current equity. The positions window is where you can see your active and open positions. Again, this works in a similar fashion to the watch list. If you right click on it and then select preferences, you can change the various colors, font sizes, and you also have some options related to the functionality of the positions window. If you right click on the columns bar and select add remove columns, Again, you can add in different columns to give you information about your current open active trade. Your open orders window will show you all of your available open orders, including stop losses and take profits. Again, if you right click on this and select preferences, right here you can select it by color. You can also choose different fonts. Your account balances window cannot be changed. This allows you to keep your balances consistent so that you can always view what's happening in your account. The market depth window, we can maximize this by clicking on the maximize window, also called level two, has several different features associated with it. First, along the top, it's going to give you a snapshot of the specific equity, including the high, the low, and the last, and other information. Over to the right side, you will see the trade ticker. Right here, all of these trades coming through can be adjusted by right clicking, selecting preferences, and under the ticker colors, you can associate a different color to let you know what's happening with the specific trade. 
For example, green trades are coming through as trades above the ask. So we can see four green trades right here. If we want to see what our trades at the bid are, we can color them red, and you can see here are a few trades coming through at the bid. The main level two window showing your bids and your asks are separated by the market participant ID, the price, size, and time, with your top tiers populating at the top of the screen, color-coded with green. You can designate different market participants and different prices by right-clicking and selecting to monitor those market participants or monitor those prices. For example, if we wanted to monitor DADA, the market participant, we would right-click and we would select Monitor DADA. As you can see, it highlights that market participant so we can see where they are. You can turn it off by right-clicking and selecting Remove Monitor. As well, we can monitor different prices. If we wanted to watch the price 2425, we would right-click on it and select Monitor 2425, and it will highlight that price on our bid size. We can right-click on that and remove it. Your Level 2 has Preference options, by right-clicking on it and selecting Preferences, you can choose to show new activity at the top by the bids, asks, and trades. And again, this is for the ticker, which is this information right here over to the right side. On the display options, right here you can choose different price tier colors. So for example, um, your tier 1 background is going to be colored as green, as you can see right here. Our tier 2 background is colored as yellow. You can designate different colors. You can also choose the different colors associated with monitoring your market participants or prices. Remember, we, when we monitored DADA, it highlighted in yellow. We can change that and we can choose a different color to monitor that market participant. Anytime you make a change to your market depth, you're going to click on Finish to save that change. Most of the windows in the MBT Desktop Pro platform have a similar functionality. Again, with your order book, if you lock it on and you right click and select Preferences, you can adjust the specific preferences associated with that particular window. You can access all of the windows by selecting the drop down from any preferences and then you can change them. As well, you can switch through these by clicking the next button and it will toggle through each of the different windows allowing you to change the preferences as you progress. In our next section, we will cover order entry preferences for the Desktop Pro platform.